What's up, bro? It's game day. You already know my predictions, bro. I have 100% faith in my team and the boys that I run with every week that we're going to win, no matter who we go up against. We can go up against the first string of the Warriors. We're going to win. That's just how I feel. That's just, of course, of course. Update on the Mo for November. Yeah, I'm not the type that be growing facial hair, brother. Sorry, I just ain't. Um, I'm excited for this game. We brought in a lot of new niggas. Um, new to the stage, I guess. They're not new to nobody that played here in Utah. Um, I honestly feel like this team that we've selected for this week is a more accurate representation of the talent that we have here in Utah for our side, for the all-star side. Um, and I'm honestly, I'm rooting for my team. I'll see you at the field. <laughs> We can be five seconds here slow, but that 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 part before a Mustang has to be passed. Oh my God. Sorry, uh, I won't take too much of your time, but um, you know, it's, it's our culture. When something happens like this, you know, aside on this, we come from one representative to, to represent and express gratitude. So just know that I'm just as invested as you <coughs> are in this team. We started this thing and Effie took it over and we helped open it up with the help of other individuals that came in. So don't think for a second that just because I'm wearing the Warriors stuff that, you know, I'm 100% over there. I'm 100% for the Utah rugby community. Moving from Kansas to here, no, no rugby community is like here in Utah, but we need to get our act together. Um, and I just want to thank you guys for putting on a great performance out there. The result may not be what you guys wanted, but just like uh, Donia said, you are showing other up and coming rugby talent that there is a place mm -hmm. for them to to express their 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 love and passion for this sport of rugby. And you took a bunch of guys from all parts of the world to come to Utah and help establish this, this thing. I want to thank Effie for being very responsive in uh, working with me and Brandon Sparks, who's the director of rugby operations, <coughs> who helped put this thing together. And I'm gonna make it my intention that what happened today becomes a tradition, and it is something that no other rugby community here in the United States will have. But it can only happen if you guys work with the people that are in charge to make this thing, to make this thing grow. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, we lost the game. Um, but I don't give a fuck, bro. I, I still have 100% faith in my team. 
no matter what team I'm playing on, I'm gonna be talking my shit. Um, but we lost that game seven days before we even stepped on the field, before we even tackled a a warrior select player, before we put the mask on to walk into the facility, we lost that game. It was a bunch of little stuff that had a big effect on the outcome of the game. We didn't take it serious because we already been there before. Daylight savings kind of fucked with our routine because we practice outside in the dirt at fields that don't have lights. Everybody just was asked to work out on your own come the week of and just stay posted on the game, on, on the practice schedule and stuff, if we were able to get an inside facility. Um, and I feel like that was just a big thing. Like we didn't, we weren't coming together as a team because prior to that, for five weeks straight, we practiced every week, twice a week, had games, came together, you know what I mean? Then we had a whole week off. And then the week of the game, everything was kind of that bow still. So then once, they put it on Facebook that, hey, we do have the feel for these days. Some players don't look at Facebook. Me, I'm some players. I don't be on Facebook. I just don't. So, yeah, my preparation was horrible because I missed a day because I didn't check my notifications. Sorry, I don't be on Facebook like that. Um, and then we also lost, a, in, we lost because of ourselves. We... We just didn't capitalize on the times we did break the line and things like that, little things. Make one more pass than we should have. We kept it a little too longer than we should have. We missed a couple of tackles that we shouldn't have. Like, just little things, bruh. Um, also, because of politics. Politics is always gonna be a big factor in anything that happens in the Utah rugby community. It's all about who you know and things like that. And it happened. We had a lot of people who know a lot of people and we made selections because of their past, how they used to play and things like that. They didn't really look at <clears throat> their current fitness levels. Like, bro, you can be the most talented person in the world. But if you're not fit enough to perform at your peak, for more than five minutes, more than 10 minutes, and things like that, then it's a waste. It's it's a waste if you're kept on the field longer than that. Because now, the reason you made that team, your talent, is useless because you can't perform. Um, but I would be a hypocrite if I got upset, super duper 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 upset because of politics. Because like, fuck, I made it on this team because of politics. I made it on this team because I've played, I played on every team here in Utah other than the Gladiators. So I know the coaches I have performed, like they, they know how I play, they've seen me play for that, play for them, things like that. So if, if I got super mad at politics, I'd be a hypocrite. But that is a reason why we lost. And it happens. Also the ref was freaking trash, bro. Like man was holding the advantages for like three, five, seven minutes, bro. Like how, how are you gonna call back a try to the middle of the field because they were offsides on kickoff? Like, sir, do you know what time it is? Anyways, outside of that, man, I'm excited. This was our last game of the season, but this won't be the last vlog of the season. I'm gonna keep on vlogging into next year because of my preparation. I'm trying to get ready. I'm trying to get fit for the next chance I get to play, to try to try out for the, the Warriors select team or any other select team in the MLR. Because next year I, I do have big plans and things like that. But yeah, just stay tuned. Stay following me. Like, comment, subscribe, and everything like that. And good luck to the Warrior boys on their next game um, against Legacy Rugby uh, this week. Hey, stop quiet, man. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Family on three. One, two, three. Family! All my dogs really with it. Train the goddess.